Okay. Okay, we're going to see a VT now, I hope. Now we've all got incredibly depressed about forests, uh, let's all get incredibly depressed about coral reefs. This is a... Uh, we met a guy on the train. Where are you? Um, we met when we were coming here to Copenhagen uh, on the UN train 10 days ago. We bumped into this guy, Frank, somebody or other, I've forgotten his name, German guy, and he's a coral reef expert. And uh, we managed to persuade him to attempt to do a live Skype link from underwater. Uh, and this is what we did earlier today. Hi Frank, so what are we doing? Where are you? And what are we going to do? Um, right now I'm in uh, Egypt in the Sinai Peninsula and just behind me there is a very huge reef. We are close to the Ras Mohammed National Park. Great, so you're going to head down into the water now and uh, show yeah. us via live underwater camera what's happening with the reef, yeah? <laughs> okay, see you later. Thank you so much. Good luck. Don't forget your air, your oxygen. <laughs> going in. Look, look, the camera's going under. It's really cool. We're going under. We're going under. Look at that. Come on, Frank. There he is. Hey. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. <laughs> hey, Frank. <laughs> you did it. Woo. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> this is one of the best things we've ever done. We need to put some sound effects. I'll do the sound effects. That's good coral there. I think one third of the, uh, of the global um, coral reefs are dead. Humans are so clever. Look what we can do. We can speak from Copenhagen to a coral reef underwater. And yet we can't get our act together to sort out climate change. Scientists think that more than 1.5 million creatures are living in the coral reef. But up today, we only know 10% of all the creatures and we must pay attention that uh, before climate change takes away all the reef. We also need the coral reef because it's a breeding zone for all the fishes and it's a very, very high spot for biodiversity. How important is the coral reef for the functioning of the ocean as a whole? So the coral reef and the ocean in general is um, um, a kind of buffer for the CO2 emissions of the industry. Uh, nations. When more CO2 is going to the ocean, we get uh, acidification of the ocean and a lot of creatures will die. So can we ask uh, your friend there who's seen the reef for 27 years, what changes has he seen? There's been definitely some uh, degradation for the reef. Uh, tourism is helping fighting poverty and it's dependent on this coral reef due to climate change due to an increase of 1.5 degrees we are going to have a lot of economic disasters and social disasters more than 1.5 degrees is too much for the coral reef because you know that we're here now at cop 15 and they're not even trying for 1.5 degrees they're only trying for two degrees at the at the maximum and it, it will they're not going to get that so that basically means i think as the deal stands at the moment, the coral reefs are, are going to all die. Um, that could be the, the result if we follow the, the newest results of the scientists, yes. Wow. Hi, yeah, I've been working here in uh, the Red Sea for five years. So things are changing, and uh, if we don't do something about it soon, this little guy is not going to have anywhere to live. I mean, there's a fundamental conundrum here, though, which is uh, if the coral reef dies, then your business is, you know, over. The tourists won't come. But if the tourists keep coming, then they're going to kill the coral reef via the flight. So there's not, there's not an easy solution, is there? The coral reef is uh, not only the base for the tourism industry, it's also the base uh, for feeding a lot of people in all over the world. <laughs> this message is especially going here from Egypt to Copenhagen to, to decide to be under two degrees, under 1.5 degrees, yeah. that will save the reef. Yeah, if they commit us to over 1.5 degrees, that's going to basically oh. kill all the rest of the coral. Yes. So, as we just... As we just heard then, um, if we commit to a 1.5 degree temperature rise, we will lose all the coral reef. Um, and so clearly we don't want to do that because that would be very, very bad. And I'll just give you the update on the current state of the deal, which is supposed to be finished now, but it is, it's not finished. We're all still negotiating. Uh, we want to not be above 1.5.
If there was no deal at all, it would be 4.8. And to cut a long story, story short, it hasn't moved at all. We're still on 3.9, which is all the coral reefs gone and all the forests gone too, I'm afraid, Danilo. Um, and if anybody was watching this show a few days ago, um, we had Johan Hari on, who was explaining about the loopholes, which mean that even these commitments, which are only being 4.8 to 3.9, a tiny little difference, all the loopholes mean anyway, all the different get-out clauses, that it's effectively no deal at all. Cheers, Tom.